That's amazing stuff right there. Mm. Wow. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I am basically doing my six month, it's a little over six months, but my six month 8,000 mile review of the beautiful 2020 C8 Corvette and i'm just absolutely pleased with this car you guys saw my 4,000 mile review saw how pleased i was with it then i'm just as enthusiastic and pleased about this car as i was back then with another 4,000 miles on it so i just wanted to bring this to you guys there's a lot of stuff that i want to talk about today but before i get into that the first thing i want to say yet again is thank you so much to all of the wonderful brink of speed community you guys don't know how much your support your likes your subscribes your comments your shares all of that does for my morale it really helps boost my enthusiasm towards the channel it really helps me know that i'm not just doing this to do it i'm doing it for you know you guys and every time i speak to the camera i feel like i'm talking directly to all of the wonderful brink of speed community so thank you for that by the way we just hit 25,000 subscribers which obviously makes me super ecstatic you just don't know what that means to me guys and gals so thank you for that now the next thing that i have to talk about a giveaway and i mentioned it on a couple videos ago that i'm going to be giving away the range device that i had for my c7 z06 and that's this little device right here it's made by range technologies and what it does for you is it helps get rid of the active fuel management gets rid of the v4 mode in your corvette this is good for all C7s except for the ZR1 because the ZR1 does not have active fuel management. So, very simply, the way to enter into this contest is just hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, go down to the comments and say, I want the Range Technologies device. And then shoot me an email at bos2020c8 at gmail.com saying the same thing i want the range technologies device and it will automatically enter you in for the contest and i'll announce that in another couple of weeks uh, i really want it to go a while that way there's plenty of opportunity for people to get in the contest and we have a lot of people that can win now the second thing that i want to discuss is that right there the beautiful america and I know it doesn't say America, but basically Amera C8 license plate. And then I was able to get captain on the actual plate frame and then BOS down here. So I basically got what I wanted uh, with the frame, what I really wanted on the plate, but got it on the frame. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys that if you haven't seen my story in the last couple of days, that's what it looks like. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous with the red, white, and blue plate. It just matches perfectly. Now, the last thing before I get into the video is this right here. I just wanna let everybody know that I was invited to a car show on Saturday. It was a small car show in a neighborhood and the Captain America C8 took best of show. So <laughs> I wanna thank my friend Darren for inviting me to that. It was truly awesome and so let's go ahead and jump into the video and first thing that i want to let you know is all of the problems that i have which were only two never amounted to anything so basically i had the transmission do something a little weird on me one night and it, it kind of just jarred my wife and i i took it to classic chevrolet it amounted to nothing they couldn't find any issues it has not happened since that was about a month ago. And then, maybe a little longer than a month ago, 
And then not too long ago, I did have a check engine light come on and I contacted Classic Chevrolet again, took my car in. There was an error in the computer system. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. The car has a little over 8,000 miles on it. It's almost at 8,100. And I'm telling you, I love it just as much now as the first time I drove my car. It's, it's a absolute pleasure to drive. So as usual, I'm just gonna go over the car. Now, as far as the uh, paint, I can't tell you anything about that because obviously I've got a wrap with clear bra on it. That's all holding up really, really well. So I don't have anything to report about that. Now, one thing that I do wanna point out is ever since I put the protectant grill that I installed, which by the way, one of my followers taught me how to do it and it's very effective, but it's protected the rocks from hitting my radiators. So that's holding up really well and it gives it a really nice look as well. As far as the radiator on the side here, it has not withstood any damage. I didn't think it would. But yeah, it has not withstood any damage, so I haven't had to worry about that. Now, I've got the, the wheel turn here so you can see the tires. As you can see, these tires, they, these are the Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss, and they are standing up to 8,000 miles really, really well. They're great tires. So, no complaints with the tires. Same with the rear. I'll give you guys a good view of the rear. The rear tires are doing just as well as the front. So no complaints with that at all. And then the same with the brakes. The brakes are really wearing well. I'm going to have to get on the front brakes so that you guys can see that like I did last time. So there's the pads, there's the rotors. Everything is wearing really, really nicely. So no issues with that at all. Coming back to the engine, I have not had any engine issues at all. I absolutely love coming back here and looking at the beautiful LT2 engine. And by the way, I'm about to replace this cover with something much more beautiful, but that's on the way and as soon as I get it, I'll obviously be showing you guys. Now the inside, and that's honestly, that's really it for the outside. The inside is wearing just as well. These seats are absolutely wearing perfectly. No issues at all, as you can see. They are beautiful, they are comfortable. I have so many compliments on the interior of this car. It is just unbelievable how many people love the interior of the car. And I myself, obviously, are one of those people that loves the black and red and the red stitching of the interior of this car. Same thing goes for the passenger side. As you can see, it is wearing absolutely perfect just gorgeous seats. Now one thing my uh, followers pointed out right away when I bought the car is they thought there were issues with the front dash, maybe the leather peeling on the front, but I haven't seen any issues. The only thing that I don't like about the front is the fact that it does highly reflect on the windshield. I don't like that. That's kind of annoying. I would rather it be one color for that reason and, and all black for that reason, but then it would get rid of the beauty of the front dash. The beauty of this front dash is just amazing. Other than that though, it's wearing fine. There are no issues. I don't have any peeling leather. I'm gonna show you from the outside. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this well or not, but this is from the outside looking in. And I don't, see any issues but then again this is 
an indoor car mostly when it's in the garage you know the sun's not hitting it when it's outside it's outside for very short periods of time you know when i'm running in a store or in a restaurant or whatever it's not really out that long in the sun so, so as you guys can see i've got 8076 miles on this car my oil engine life it's at 88 my transmission fluid is at 82 so everything is looking good. By the way, we got some motorcycle guys over here. Doing crazy wheelies on that. And this dirt bike, let's get him coming back. That's amazing stuff right there. Wow. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I was filming the guys on the bikes. I'm gonna put some of that footage in this video, but as I was saying, this car has been spectacular. I haven't had any issues besides the ones that I've told you about. And I don't feel like I'm gonna have any of those other recalls that have come out. The valve spring problem, I'm not gonna have that. The brake problem, I haven't had any issues with that. It's been 8,000 miles, so I don't think I'm gonna have issues with that. The seatbelt, I really don't know actually, because I've never had to really uh, slam the brakes on in this car. So hopefully that doesn't happen. That's really about it, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to give you guys my six month review of the car, let you know that it's been absolutely, absolutely a pleasure to drive. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, make sure you smash that red subscribe and bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. Help me get to 30,000 subs by the end of December, beginning of next year, that's my goal. And I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you out on the road.